Your preparations is here and it will not go away. And um, we hope that sooner rather than later, the British government and the British monarchy, the French government, Holland, and all of Western Europe that played a critical role with regards to and benefited from the Atlantic slave trade and slavery, that they will see the good sense and, and have that moral and financial and political obligation to us here in the Caribbean and to compensate us for the atrocities that they have committed in the past. Chairman of the Reparation Committee, Ali Gill, believes it's time for a conversation about reparation. Two of the royals, Prince Edwards and the Countess of Wessex, were scheduled to visit Grenada last month as part of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. However, that trip was cancelled and the royals proceeded to other islands which were listed on their schedule. Ahead of the visit, a request was made for a meeting with the couple. We in the Grenada National Reparations Committee we wrote to the governor general asking for an audience with the visiting royals to discuss the issue of reparations. On that issue, we wanted to present the British royals with a 10 point CARICOM plan and also to make them a gift of Professor Beckel's book entitled How Britain Underdeveloped the Caribbean. So they can read for themselves the, the, the extraction of wealth and the exploitation of the Caribbean by Great Britain. Unfortunately, they postponed their trip to Grenada, but we are looking forward to, to have a conversation with them. Gill said he is not certain what led the royals to have each. Well, I cannot speak um, on their behalf, um, but if it is that that was one of the reasons that persuaded them um, not to visit Grenada, then one would have to conclude that um, they are not prepared to speak to us or to have a discussion with us with regards to reparations, which is rather unfortunate because the Atlantic slave trade, the, the genocide of the indigenous peoples, the genocide of Africans here in the Caribbean, the period of slavery are all crimes against humanity perpetrated by the British government and sanctioned by the British monarchy. Research commissioned by the Bank of England in the wake of Black Lives Matter protest revealed that ownership of two plantations and 599 slaves in Grenada were transferred to the financial institution in the early 1770s. The names of the 599 enslaved people can be viewed at a free exhibition launched two weeks ago at the Banks Museum in central London. Although the Bank of England has previously apologized for its historical links to the slave trade, the revelation that it directly owned black people has upset many of the Caribbean diaspora. The Bank of England is now owned by Her Majesty's government, which further cements that Great Britain and the British monarchy directly benefited from the exploitation of our ancestors. A documentary was revealed on May 10th, recounting the journey of slaves to Grenada, who was the slave masters, who owned the slaves, the estates that were occupied by these slave masters, most of whom were from Great Britain, and the role they played in claiming property. Slavery was abolished in 1834. Christina John, GBN News.